Boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best-selling author Mickey D. I host The Scoop, my friends. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. Thank you very, very much, my friends. Thank you for giving me 30 seconds with uh, all those advertisements. Thank you very, very much. My friends, as you know, on The Scoop, we do technical analysis. We do fundamental analysis. But what, one thing that separates us apart is when we look at your marijuana and your cannabis and all your other investments, my friends, we are, we're boots on the ground. We get out there. We knock on the doors. We go to the conferences. We go to the expos. Uh, we go right to the company, right in the CEO's face. We find out what exactly is going on with that company, my friends, because there's a lot of paper companies out there that just aren't getting the job done. I don't know if you saw that video where I was at Planet 13 with a D Money. D Money kind of told it like it was. You know, you get a chance, go see that uh, video uh, with D Money there at Planet 13. My friends, we, 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 we lay it down. Now, I'm going to put it down for you. I'm going to give you a couple updates here. I'm going to give you a couple updates. I'm going to give you an update on um, OWCP, my friends. I'm going to give you an update on uh, high blockchain real quick. And I'm going to add a uh, special little bonus uh, gold stock for you, my friends. But as you know, the scoop is for your education and your entertainment only. I'm not a stockbroker. I'm not a money manager. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm an author. I write books. My books you can get at Amazon.com. You can go to your local bookstore. Uh, you can go to your library and they'll order them for you free because you are a uh, uh, anywhere, anywhere in the world. Any bookstore anywhere in the world. Like I said, your local library. Ask for those Mickey D books and uh, tell them you want to be uh, get your uh, marijuana, your cannabis education on and you want to make that happen, my friends. Because there's a lot of good books, a lot of good lists and things out there that you and your family can benefit from. Friends, it's been a busy week. I told you it was going to be a real, real busy week this week, but I did want to touch base with you on, on a couple things here. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at OWCP real quick. Uh, OWCP, OWC Pharmaceutical, as you know, it's a company we've been keying on now for roughly uh, since the new year, since before the new year. This was our play during Christmas time when it gave us 100, over 100% Christmas Eve, and we've been playing with it ever since. And friends, as you see, it went up to uh, like 15 cents, and it's come back down to our buy zone area, which I've been indicating that I've been accumulating 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 shares, real small chunks at roughly uh, 0.047 and below. So at where we are right now or where we've been today and where we've been the last few days, I think... Uh, is a spot where I personally have started accumulating OWCP at under uh, five cents, my friends, and in particular, uh, 0 point, uh, zero point zero four seven and below, four five. It's sitting right on its 50 day moving average right now. If it breaches that, my friends, we will fill that gap, I predict. I've been saying this for a while, ever since it was 15 cents, that we're going to fill that little gap right there, my friends, that little gap at under three cents. If you've been patient and you've been waiting uh, and they don't come out with any information here in the next uh, month or so, we will fill that gap. We'll fill that gap, my friends. Uh, that's almost, uh, it's not a sure thing, but uh, not all gaps are filled, as we know. But we believe that we have time uh, to fill that gap. But I am itching in little by little by little. Uh, personally, you know, just, just me personally, uh, 50 to 100,000 shares will do me, do me right. You know, that'll do me right. And I need to get them as low as possible, my friends. So I, I do hope we have that flush day where we flush down, down, and, uh, and up, uh, down and up. And, and, and uh, we're all able to get filled at, uh, you know, two cents, 2.5, 2.7, you know, under three cents. And uh, we'll be all on our, our merry way because I believe the company, as we speak, is sitting on information, sitting on positive information that will be good for the stock, will be good for the shareholders, and uh, it, it'll just be good for the industry overall. Oops, forgot my little prop. I had a little prop. I was going to show you some 
some uh, uh, CBD uh, uh, oil, not, not oil, it's a lotion that I, I had picked up, I'll show you next time. But my friends, uh, as you can recall, you know, I'm your ears and uh, eyes at the conferences and the expos. The cannabis uh, a business uh, expo there that was in Los Angeles that I went to this past year and reported to you, I told you there was a lot of lotions, hand lotions and oils and stuff. That was really one of the themes down there. Even stuff, how do you clean yourself from after you've worked on all that all day? There's a lot, it was a big theme there about lotions and stuff. People coming out with different, different products and stuff. That's a hot, it's going to be hot. OWCP is kind of in that, you know, trying to, trying to heal uh, uh, psoriasis and stuff. They got some stuff going on. So we'll, we'll see what, uh, I think it's psoriasis, what they, they have. They're going to heal your hands, my friends. That, that's what's going on there. But that's OWCP. Now, by law, they have to come out with their, their 10K by the end of next month, the end of March. So if we can go through this month and then go through March, go through February and go through March, and, and there's nothing said, then there's going to be some big news, my friends, that they're going to disclose to us at the end of next month. Uh, you can, you can uh, bet your, not bet the farm on it, don't bet the farm on anything. I'm not a stockbroker. I'm not a money manager. I'm not a financial advisor. But your lunch money, uh, at uh, when it, it definitely when it closes the gap. If it closes the gap, now well, not all they don't. I'm just little bites right now at under at the where we are right now, sitting on its 50-day moving average. Little bite. In the last 15 days or so, it's held that 15-day moving. Actually, it's held that 15-day moving average for a little while now. That 50-day moving average. I'm sorry. The 50-day moving average or so, it's bounced off that, and that's where we are right now. So let's see today if we bounce off that 50-day moving average. Uh, you know, at four and a half cents, I ain't mad at you if you start accumulating, my friends, right in that area where I'm, I'm accumulating just little chunks, little bits here and there, my friends. And uh, I do have an order down there. So just in case we do a choo-choo, a choo-choo, then... Uh, you know, I will get filled, uh, hopefully. So we'll see. That's it with OWCP, my friends. Also, high blockchain. Now, I, I told you guys, and I've uh, told you, tell you over and over again, that Hive is uh, highly correlated to the Ethereum and the Bitcoin price. Now, Bitcoin goes up fast, and it comes down fast. It goes up fast, it comes down fast. Usually, Ethereum goes right with it. So that's kind of the way this thing is handled right now. Yeah, there's a little pressure on a little pullback on uh, Hive right now because uh, last night or so in the last 24 hours, uh, Bitcoin has gone down and uh, Ethereum has gone down also. So when they go down, like I said before, and I've told you, my friends, when uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum sneeze or they cough, then uh, we get, uh, you know, high blockchain gets coronavirus and all those others in that uh, sector, they go down. They get really sick. So that's the deal with that right now. My friends, it's a wait and see. Uh, sure, could Bitcoin dump? Sure it can. It dumps all, it does, it's very volatile. Uh, what about uh, Ethereum? Ethereum is a little, uh, it seems to be a little more stable than Bitcoin, but who's to say Ethereum won't? Uh, uh, dump also, my friends. But I, I'll as long as it stays above that two hundred dollar Ethereum I'm talking about, as long as it stays above that two hundred dollar, two hundred twenty or so, two hundred twenty four. I think we will be okay in that area, my friends. I think we'll be okay. But uh, I, you know, I wouldn't bet the farm on it. But uh, there's a possibility that uh, high blockchain also will correct slightly uh, along with the uh, price. But overall. Believe me, the, the bulls are still in control overall, and it's, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, happy days uh, sooner uh, rather than later. Uh, an un un unrelated note, uh, one of the companies I gave you the other day, uh, Interbit, uh, BTLLF, that's in that blockchain area uh, that we were looking at that uh, one of our subscribers uh, gave, that uh, particular one, they did do a funding that I wasn't really, even though the stock's gone up a little bit, they did do a funding at well under the price they are right now. So it's a, it's a really uh, a small float out there. Uh, you know, it's, 
it's one of those stocks that you just kind of got to wait and see. The stock have a lot of potential, a lot of potential, my friends. The stock can do very, very well uh, in the long run. So we'll see. We'll keep our eye on that, my friends. But I did want to bring you one other company. I don't know if you guys have been following the gold market a little bit. Marijuana Day, Vanadium and Uranium Tomorrow, companies you can get into early, hold, and grow rich. At the back of this book, I do list 10 gold stocks for you. And, uh, you know, early on, uh, gold was, what, 1300 or so. You know, it's over 1600 now. And uh, earlier uh, this uh, past year or so, when we were doing this research, so let me put gold, because gold is going to take off with, uh, you know, respect uranium and vanadium, but they're depending on uh, laws being passed and the president signing this and president signing. All that stuff is, is you know, the... Uh, the uh, him getting impeached and all that has taken over all the all the wind out of all our uranium uh, news and everything, my friends. But that gold sector in the back, I did list uh, uh, a company, Ely Gold. You guys remember that E E L Y G F E L Y G R G F. I I kept telling you, look at the last gold company. Look at the last gold company. Well, it was seven cents, my friends. What's the price of it now? It's over seventy cents USD. But see, people don't like gold stocks because they take forever to get there. Not forever. It took a year, a little over a year to get from 7 to 70 cents. A little royalty company in the book. And that's the kind of companies that we have in all of our uh, all of, all of of our, our books. We have little companies in there that, uh, like one of the subscribers said, Mickey D, you're light years ahead of the competition. And, and that's what we do. Even right now, Africa is getting a bid. And I want to tell you real quick about this African gold miner, my friends. This African gold miner, don't be, don't be afraid of Africa. Bruce Clinton was when he went over there and wrote a $10 million check early on. When, when he, we were looking for areas, don't be afraid of Africa. There's nothing to be, Africa right now has the, min, has the resources. Africa's got it going on, man. Go over to Africa, man. Companies look like New York City, man. Be, be, this, come on, get, get, out, get your old thoughts of Africa out of your head right now. These are big, major, modern cities, man. Go to China. It's the same way. These are big, major, major cities, my friends. But anyway, Africa's got uh, gold mines everywhere. They, they have, they've really got it going on. What I want to tell you about, I deal with baby knockouts. I deal with ones real, really low right now. I'm going to tell you about a producer. And as you know, producers are the ones right now that are going to really capitalize from a really gold and silver prices going up. And you guys chime in. If you have some, let me know. I know uh, uh, Tom has really been, uh, really been good with the gold. Let us all know what, uh, what your picks are and stuff. I'm going to tell you about one. It's a small company that I've never mentioned before on the show, right? It's called Hummingbird Resources. Now, H-U-M-R-F. H-U-M-R-F is the symbol. Coming out of Africa, they have uh, two main locations, Mali and uh, Liberia. Now, the Liberian operation, they've got two big, uh, we're talking over, uh, it's got an over 20 year lifespan. We're talking uh, 125, 130, 140 uh, ounces a year. Small time operation, my friends. We're not talking big, big grandiosis things. But the stocks right now, the shares are just hard to get, my friends. The, the shares are like uh, 30 cents, 35 cents or so right now. It, producing now, and they're making money, 35 cents. These stocks, gold stocks, especially small gold producers, have been beat down. I mean, with the club, they've been, you know, beat down like, you know, you think, no, we won't talk about that. You think beat down. I mean, like, like, uh, Wilder's gonna win a beat down Fury this this week. I mean, they've been really, really beat down. So uh, it's been really, really uh, rough out there. Um, they will uh, uh, probably do well. The market goes. I'm I'm not calling them a five, ten, fifteen, twenty bagger or nothing. But I'm just saying that Hummingbird Resources, UK listed stock, will do very well as the gold price goes up because they're producing right now and they're putting it out there right now. That's my message to you, my friends. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe. It'll be a busy, busy week. If I don't get to you this weekend, my friends, God bless you. Take care of yourself. Just remember, OWCP, we're in accumulation right now. We're waiting for news next month. 
my friends. Uh, Hummingbird Resources is the new guy on the block at 35 cents. H-U-M-R-F is out there. Uh, Inter, Inter uh, Bit did a, a financing, my friends. What about that? High blockchain along with the price of uh, Ethereum and, and uh, the price of Bitcoin. Keep your eye on it. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family.